Okay, it's joining me here on BBC Radio Lincolnshire. A lot of people have asked me in the last few days, what, is, what does Michael Scubada football look like? Is the last 20 minutes an example? Yeah, for sure. Like push, what I call pushing the game, driving the game, being positive, being high, getting volume in the box and just trying to pin teams back and be aggressive in everything we do. And I thought, you know what, I thought second half they, we did really well. We came out and pushed the game and we looked like the aggressor in the team and we, we weren't as passive. And I said to the, to the lads at half time, come on, we need to have courage. We need to have courage to get the ball, move the ball, get the ball at the pitch, but courage to be higher as well as positioning. And I thought second half, we, uh, I think we did enough to probably nick it in, in the second half, to be honest. And it's quality from the bench that told Teddy Bishop made an impact, but we were right behind Rico for all of his crosses and that's the quality you've missed. Yeah, for all, you know, it's important to have squad depth, it's important to have different options off the bench, it's important to have the, the quality in the squad size and I thought you saw the impact of the substitutions today and I thought Teddy when he came in uh, was do, we did really well and, and I think when Rico came on I, I think we saw a bit of class that we know Rico can bring. And a bit of class for, for your goal from Ethan as well, I mean he was very important in terms of blocking them off when they tried to break down field but it's actually a very clever finish. Yeah and, and, and I think you know we've been working on Rico, he played in there as a sort of single six today so that was really difficult for him in terms of physicality but what I was really impressed with is how he got about the pitch and he showed his quality at times and yeah what a great finish but he's, he's such a big player for us in there and, um, but what I was really impressed today how he controlled the centre of the pitch for most of the game which was brilliant. Um, in the first half we talked about Vokes being the threat so he must have been a bit frustrated with the goal conceded. Yeah, it's, we know we've done all our homework, we've talked all about how to keep Vokes out of the box, we've talked all about how we need to be aggressive on him and also on the second ball, so it's a frustrating one and the lads know, but you know, it's easier said than done to stop it sometimes and I thought for, for most of the game we, we looked after the long ball and the second ball and then we just got caught and yeah, but really really proud of the lads the second half, how they got back into the game and they kept going, you know, this team just keeps going and going and their effort is big, um, but a bit more bravery for me in terms of getting on the ball and playing. The disallowed goal, why? Yeah, I thought, we, I thought we scored and I've seen it back and Joe hasn't touched it and I think it's actually come off the defender's head so I, I think it's a mistake by the linesman if I'm honest. I think was that should be a goal. offside they gave it? So is that what you've been told? I'm not sure. They said offside. Well, the linesman get offside but I don't think it can be interference because he's nowhere near the keeper so the only thing he can give it for is offside if he touches it but he didn't touch it. But the good thing was your players kept going because you easily get down on yourself for something like that. That shows the heart. That shows, like I said, you know, wearing the badge, the heart to keep going and we're pushing him at the end to get in the box and I thought last 10 minutes last was putting balls in the box and Rico was putting balls in the box, we were getting free kicks and we were just trying to build the pressure. And you know, they kept going to the end until the last kick of the game and um, brilliant, brilliant to get come here and get a point. Understandably, with, with Joe and Freddie and trying to find the right balls, it felt a bit like a work in progress at times. So sometimes the right balls, I'm still searching for that with some of the, some of the play. Yeah, I think we have to be, you know, I think having two up top as well was good. I think those two working together and finding a connection as two nines is really important. I think at times it looked a bit disjointed, but they've had two days together. Um, and I thought Freddie battled away and I thought Joe had a little bit of a threat. But, you know, it's, it's a step up for them as well. The physicality of this game for those two was more than they're used to. But at times I thought we um, just needed to get more connected with them and they needed to get more connected with each other as well. And just in terms of, I always have to ask you, I know about transfer window, another week till another game, are you, are you hopeful that there might be some changes? Yeah, I'm still hopeful, uh, we're still working hard, I'm still hopeful of you know, what we do, I still think we need to add to the group, I still think we need to bring in a bit of experience, I'm really keen on doing that, um, and as you, I, you know, I like wide attacking players like Rico coming on, because I think you know, when you get those players on the pitch it's, at this level it's hard to, to defend, so yeah, hopefully we can do something still, and we're still working hard behind the scenes. People always say, what does it mean to a head coach manager, what does it mean to a bench, what does it mean to the fans, uh, I think you were virtually with the fans by the, by the time of the goal it, it meant a lot to everyone today that moment didn't it well I think the fans were great again you could hear them all game and you know what it's really easy no it's really um, for fans sometimes to get disappointed we're losing a game away from home but today I thought they were magnificent and we could hear them the whole game and they pushed the team and then yeah what, what, what a way to score at the end but, and you saw that I don't think I was I was still trying to figure <laughs> out about sorting out them you know putting the ball back on us but I think Shuri and everyone was going mental because you know you can see it you can see how hard they're working you can see how many chances we're trying to create and you just you know you want them to get something out of the game to, to progress and go to the next stage